But I want to speak to you about this uh, shameful episode for the Biden administration in today. They've sent an official message of condolence to the uh, for the Iranian president, uh, Ibrahim Raisi, who died in a helicopter crash yesterday. Uh, really, the White House offering its condolences to the butcher of Tehran, a man who tortured pregnant women, who was responsible for thousands being slaughtered. Uh, it beggars belief. I mean, disgusting, honestly, does not do this justice, Rita. I, you know, tragically, by the way, it's mm. not just Joe Biden. I, I mean, NATO, the official NATO spokesperson, also offered her condolences on behalf of NATO. Yeah. There were many European Euro, European Union, EU countries that did the same thing. But, you know, for the United States in particular, it really is kind of above and beyond disgusting. I mean, this is a regime, the theocracy, the malocracy in Tehran that's existed since 1979. This is a regime that quite literally chants death to America in the street. Streets. They chant debt to America in their in their legislature there. And, you know, just to kind of underscore how absurd this situation is, it's not just that they want to kill Americans and kill America. They do. The Iranian regime has the blood of hundreds and hundreds of Americans on their hand from their roadside IEDs that exploded during the war in Iraq. They have tried to assassinate Americans all around the world for that matter. But over the past 48 to 72 hours or so, what we have seen is that a lot of the Iranian people inside of Iran, Rita, have risked their lives to go on social media and celebrate, celebrate the death of this man that you just described, the mm. so-called butcher of Iran, this man who has terrible, terrible, terrible amounts of copious blood on his hands. And the same time that the Iranian people who are struggling for basic human dignity and free expression inside their own country, at the same time that they are risking jail time, prosecution, or God forbid, even worse, just to go to social media and to express their joy that the butcher of Tehran is no longer with us. At the same time as that, the president of the, of the United States and the leader of the free world is offering his condolences. How about we just say, we hope for the best for the Iranian people. May your next president offer you something remotely approximating human dignity. Not that the president has that power. It's up to the Ayatollah. But something, some message along those lines would have been nice. But offering condolences for a terrorist jihadist state. Oh, my God. Never thought I would see it, honestly. Just if you can't put out a message that uh, hopes for better days for the Iranian people, then just... Don't do anything. Don't put out a condolence letter. I mean, it is, oh, gosh, for, for someone, as you know, my family fled Iran after the Islamic Revolution and the Islamist takeover of the country. So to, to have the US president, the Biden administration, put out a message like that, it's just, uh, like I said, it beggars belief.